everyone, this is Phil, and in today's video, we're gonna be doing a deep dive into the ready up drill. As an airsofter, one of the most important skills for you to master is snap shooting. Anytime you're not taking slow, deliberate aim down your sights, you're likely gonna be snap shooting. And in airsoft, this typically represents as coming out of cover quickly so you can engage a target. And if you say to yourself, well, that sounds like a lot of the shooting that I do on the airsoft field, you'd be right. Doesn't matter if it's CQB, Milsim, or something in between, snap shooting comes up dozens, maybe even hundreds of times every single time you play so becoming instinctive at doing it is a really critical skill which does take practice now thankfully for you we're here to help today's video is going to focus on the absolute best drill you can do to improve your snap shooting and take your airsoft play to the next level when it comes to airsoft drills we've said it before and we'll say it again if you only do one airsoft drill it should be the ready up drill. Doing ready ups purposefully and consistently will help make you a better airsoft player full stop. But surprisingly, we have never done a full video on the ready up drill. And in fact, we have lots of people joining our Discord community who don't really know what the ready up drill is all about. So today, we're going to do a full explanation of this most critical airsoft drill, what it is, how it works, and how you can get practicing the ready up drills at home with no shooting required. So let's get to it. First off, let's talk about what the drill is all about. As the name implies, the drill is about taking your airsoft replica from a ready position and bringing it up on target in order to engage it. The whole purpose of the drill is to ingrain this motion into your muscle memory and then to progressively get faster at it over time. You want to do this drill so frequently that with correct practice, both holding that ready position as well as coming up on target and engaging it is so second nature that you never have to think about it. It becomes pure muscle memory. It's difficult to overstate just how important this is when you're exchanging fire with an opponent who's not able to shoot in this way. Not only are you much faster than them, but you're also more accurate, which means that the odds of you winning that particular exchange go way up. On the flip side, if you're not practiced at snap shooting in this way, then you're creating a lot of opportunities for your opponents to take advantage of, not least of which that you are not as much of a threat to them as they are to you. We've said before that one of the key ways that you can become a better airsoft player is by spending less time focusing on yourself and managing your own kit and more time thinking tactically about what's going on on the airsoft field. Well, by focusing on your ready ups and ingraining that into your muscle memory, you can take that motion out of your active mind so you can focus more on what's going on around you. So with that being said, let's look at how the ready up drill is done. The drill begins from a ready position. And for those of you who are not familiar with what a ready position is, it means that your airsoft replica is held in a position in which it is ready for use. Now there's two large ready positions that are often talked about, the high ready and the low ready. In the high ready position, your airsoft replica is held basically pointing almost directly at your target, but just below. So you're looking right over your sights. And in the low ready, your airsoft replica is pointed much lower down at the ground and sometimes even directly against your body in a, what you would call a rest position. So there's the high ready and then there's a low ready. There's other ready positions that also exist, such as the high port in which the rifle is held upwards and the stock is held underneath your elbow, as well as a ready position in which the rifle is broken off your shoulder. And that might seem a little strange, but we actually use this ready position frequently when we're working with tight cover in which we can't actually shoulder our rifle. Ultimately, you should practice ready up drills from whatever ready positions you frequently find yourself using on the airsoft field. But for today's purposes, we're gonna be focusing on the high ready position. Next, you'll pick a target. Now, if you're practicing this inside without shooting, sometimes called dry fire practice, your target can be literally anything. It can be a picture on a wall, a light switch, even a piece of tape that you just stuck on the wall arbitrarily for this particular practice. Whatever it is, just make sure that you can see it clearly. If you're practicing this outside or with shooting, then you likely have a target already set up and you'll want to set yourself up pretty close to your target, about 10 meters away or about 30 feet. So starting from your high ready position, your airsoft replica is shouldered, your barrel is pointing downrange almost directly at your target, just below it, and you're looking over your sights. From this ready position, you are gonna bring the muzzle of your airsoft replica up, pointed directly at your target, and you're gonna to wanna to acquire your sights and bring them in line directly with your target in one 
motion without overshooting or undershooting it. This is because when you undershoot or overshoot, you have to take a moment to just realign your sights. And that's the extra time that you're trying to shave down. So your muzzle has to come up and it has to stop directly where your eyes are looking. So on target. And this is actually more challenging than you might think at first. The key here is to use your offhand, the one holding the front of your airsoft replica, to drive your muzzle on the target. So I want you to try a quick exercise. Take your offhand, whichever one that is for you, and I want you to point at an object with your offhand in the room that you're in right now. It doesn't matter what it is, just take your offhand and point at it. Did you overshoot it or undershoot it when you pointed? Probably not. And that's the exact same mentality that you want to apply when you're pointing the muzzle of your airsoft replica. Think of using your offhand holding the front of your rifle and use your hand to point at whatever your target is and you will find that more often than not your muzzle ends up on target. This will also help you when you're moving your rifle laterally, switching between targets going left to right and so on. Again, using your offhand and thinking about pointing your offhand at the thing that you're trying to shoot at. So you're in your ready position and the muzzle is coming up on target. And at this point, you should be manipulating your fire selector to take your replica off of safe onto fire. Now, I know many airsofters actually don't practice manipulating the fire selector on their replicas. They just leave them on fire throughout the whole duration of the game. And we're not going to talk about whether this is a safety issue for real steel shooting, etc. This is airsoft we're talking about here and that's not the purpose of this video. However, there is an absolutely real scenario that occurs in airsoft and it's happened to me many times where throughout the course of the game, your fire selector gets bumped and changes from whatever mode you had it set in. Perhaps it was on fire, but now it's back on safe. Additionally, it can also happen that you simply forget to take it off fire at the start of the game. And so you're bringing your replica up to engage a target and it's on safe when you really would rather it was not. So if you build in switching the fire selector from safe to fire every single time you bring up your muzzle, then you will never have this situation occur, period. It just won't happen. So for my money, it absolutely is worth ingraining that as part of your ready up practice. Once your sights are on target, you're naturally going to squeeze the trigger. But it's extremely important to build some discipline into your practice here because in your mind, you're already thinking about squeezing the trigger as your muzzle is coming up. So it's extremely important to not fire unless you're actually on target. And this becomes more difficult as you get faster because the faster you get, the more you want to pull the trigger. The thing about that is, is that if you're not on target when you pull the trigger, you're just being sloppy. So you want to take the time to do the drill correctly in order to maximize the benefit of the practice that you're ingraining into your muscle memory. Finally, after you squeeze the trigger, you want to wait a second for the follow through as the BB exits the barrel. Then you want to lower your rifle back down into your ready position and return the selector to safe if you're including that as part of your practice. So that's the flow of the drill. Ready, up, acquire a sight picture, shoot, return, repeat. But let's talk about your intent while you're doing this drill. It is not enough to simply go through the motions. To get the most out of this drill, you need to actively participate in the drill and look for opportunities for you to improve on. Again, this is all about building the right muscle memory. So think about your form. Is your form good? Is your elbow nice and tucked in? Are you bringing the rifle up to your eye or are you tucking your head down? All of these are important considerations. Did you overshoot or undershoot the target? If so, pay attention to that and readjust on the next repetition. Did you anticipate the sight picture and shoot before you had a good sight alignment? If so, that's something else to focus on. Additionally, if you're doing this drill with shooting, did you actually hit your target? Accuracy is important. If you didn't, think about why you missed the target, if it was wind or so on, and readjust on the next repetition. Make sure you also do your ready up drills on your offside. Offside shooting, as we've said before, is equally as important, but it will take a little bit of getting used to doing your ready ups on that side, so don't skip it. Remember, if you cut corners, how exactly does that help you? You're doing these drills so you can improve, and failure is a part of improvement. So if you're cheating these drills, you're actually only cheating yourself. So start slowly. There's no need to rush at the start. Start slow and focus on doing everything right. Then gradually speed up until you make a mistake. Then slow down a bit. 
Master that speed, then gradually speed up again until you make another mistake. Keep this going until you're doing ready ups at a speed that you feel you can 100% control, but feels reasonably fast. If you have a program or an app on your phone that allows you to keep time, you might focus on trying to do 10 perfect ready ups with each ready up done in 1.5 seconds or faster. That is loads of time to get each rep perfect. If you're not able to do 10 perfect ready ups in 1.5 seconds or less, then just roll back and keep practicing until you can before you move on to the next thing. Remember, it's totally okay to not be able to succeed at a particular drill at first. That's the whole reason we do this, to get better. So make sure that you're actually able to complete the drill before you move on to something more complicated. Once you've got the ready up down pat from the high ready position on both sides, then you can move on to the low ready where your muzzle is much lower. Now, the drill is exactly the same from this low ready position, except that your muzzle has to travel a much further distance to get on target. And that's where you're gonna see the undershooting or overshooting become a much bigger factor. So really pay attention to make sure that your muzzle is traveling and stopping exactly where you want it to stop on target where your eyes are looking every single time. So as we said before, think about using your off hand and just pointing your off hand on the target and you'll find that you're much more successful. So do this until you get a down pat on both sides once again, and then you can move on to other stuff, such as the high port, or even breaking it off your shoulder and bringing it up on target in this way, which we're not gonna go into too much detail here today. But the whole idea is you wanna master the basics, master the fundamentals, before you add on more complexity. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, Phil, I don't wanna just do ready up drills, that sounds boring. Well, the beauty of the ready up drill is that it is so foundational to everything we do on the airsoft field that you can include it as part of almost any other drill that you want to do. For example, you wanna practice doing primary reloads? Do a ready up first. You need to work on your shoulder transitions? Do a ready up and then switch shoulders. You wanna work on your sidearm transitions? Same deal. You wanna go from standing to kneeling really quickly? Well, do that and then do a ready up. Ultimately, by including ready ups in this way into various other drills that you're also doing, you can end up doing hundreds of repetitions of ready ups in as little as half an hour of training. At the end of the day, the purpose of this drill is to help you get faster and more accurate at snap shooting by ingraining this motion into your muscle memory. This is the most important skill because you will be doing this all the time on the airsoft field. It doesn't matter where you are, left side, right side, kneeling behind a stack of tires, standing by a wall, it doesn't matter, the motion is the same. Your replica will be coming up on target, you'll be acquiring a side picture, and you'll be squeezing the trigger. That is all part of the ready up drill. And the more purposefully and consistently you do this drill, the better you will become as an airsoft player. Hopefully you found this video on the ready up drill helpful and then it motivates you to get out there and try some ready ups on your own time. If it does, we would love to hear about it. You can leave us a comment below or you can join us on Discord. The link is in the description. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.